Great, great. Let's make a start this morning. So um, I was chatting to a fellow uh, yoga teacher friend of mine who's also a therapist. And she was, we were both saying, we were both chuckling about how uh, we see seasonal aches and pains. And in the summer months, in warmer months, it tends to be our lower body that takes a bit of a, a battering. So it's kind of hips and hamstrings, lower back because we're maybe a bit more active than we, we are normally. Maybe we've um, brushed the dust off our bike and we've started cycling again or we're in the garden and it's sort of like, oh, that, that kind of lower body aches and pains. But then as we transition towards autumn and winter, it moves up the body and we have our, our kind of seasonal aches and pains around our neck, our shoulder, into our face. And I think it comes from the cold and we all, you might have noticed yourself doing this, it's quite mild at the moment, isn't it? But, we, we kind of start to fold in on ourselves and our shoulders end up around our ears and we kind of screw our eyes up and scrunch our face up against that cold weather, the cold wind. And if we're not careful, we can kind of continue the day with our, our shoulders somewhere up around here. And I think even if we're not maybe going out quite so much, a lot of us are still working from home. We're still maybe using our computer and home devices at desks that weren't designed for that. So maybe we're beginning to feel it in our upper body and around our chest, our shoulders. So what we've got today is a lovely one to alleviate any autumnal um, aches and pains. And as we go into winter, maybe um, practicing some of these stretches, if you, if you do know that you, you carry a lot of tension or stress in your shoulders or that as the cold weather takes charge, you end up somewhere like this. So a lovely one to release into our upper body today. That's not to say we're not going to work our legs as well. So we'll start lying down today. So if you want to, to grab a cushion or a pillow, feel free. But let's just keep our knees bent and our feet on the floor to start with. And before we get settled, we'll interlace our hands. So you made a little cradle and just cradle your head in your hands. You might want to free up your thumbs and just let your thumbs rest down the back of your neck. So we'll gently draw the elbows up towards the ceiling. So you can support your head as you just lift it, maybe an inch or so off the floor. And then very gently, just take a little rock from side to side. It's like you're turning your chin from side to side. And as you do so, really try and relax the weight of your head into your hands. It's quite hard to do. Um, but see if you can just kind of increasingly get that sense of heaviness. You feel just really how heavy the head is there. Lovely. And then we'll come all the way back through center. Now go easy on this one, but imagine now you want to gently tug your head towards the top of your mat. So imagine you want to elongate your neck just a little bit, really gently, before you bring your head back down to the floor, back of the head resting on your mat as you free your arms up, down alongside you. Tuck your chin in ever so slightly, so you've got a nice long neck. And again, without overdoing this, just press the back of your head a little bit more firmly into the mat beneath you. You might feel your upper back arch a little bit and those muscles of the back of the neck engage. And then just release that. Do that twice more if it feels okay on the neck. So a very gentle pressing down. Maybe the chest lifts up a little bit. And then a release. You feel everything sink back down into the floor. Just one more time, very gently pressing of the head down. And then a relaxation. We'll keep the upper body now completely relaxed. Take a little roll of the head from side to side. Just release into any tension that might have created. It's a really good one to activate and then loosen those little muscles at the back of the neck. And then we'll bring the head to center and turning the palms, preferably up towards the ceiling, we'll walk the feet a little bit wider apart so you can rock your knees against each other. Now having your palms up towards the ceiling is a little bit too much for shoulders this early on. Come onto the blades of the little fingers as a happy compromise so your palms are facing inwards. Just get that sense of allowing the collarbones to begin to broaden. As we take that quick scan, starting at the top of our head. So just imagine you're just taking any expression away from your face so your brow can begin to broaden. You're not frowning or scrunching the eyes up. Just let them feel very loosely closed this morning so the muscles around the eyes can relax and release. Let that feeling of release travel down the sides of your face into your cheeks and into your jaw. And if you know you're someone who maybe clenches their teeth or holds tension around that part of the body, you can always gently separate your back teeth there, creating a bit of space. 
relax your lips down into your chin and let that feeling of relaxation just trickle down the sides of the neck and into the tops of the shoulders. Just imagine someone is placing a, a beautiful, warm, heavy cloak around your shoulders, gently drawing them down and away from your ears. With every exhale, feel the weight of the upper body beginning to sink a little bit more deeply into the floor beneath you. Correspondingly, allowing the front of the body, your collarbones, to begin to broaden and smile as you relax any tension from around the chest, the upper chest. Relaxing into the belly and the front of the hips. You can always take your feet a little wider apart or adjust the position of them so you can really release the back of the pelvis into the floor. Relaxing the thighs, the backs of the thighs into the hamstrings, down into the calves, and even into the feet and the toes. Just make sure you're not screwing your toes up into the floor beneath you. So we've got that feeling of softness before we begin. Just take a couple of nice deep breaths there, allowing the chest and the belly to rise and fall freely. No sense of forcing navel to spine or counting the breath in any way, just allowing the breath to begin to settle into that lovely steady rhythm we can sustain throughout our practice. So let's bring a little bit of awareness and stretch now to the upper body. So we'll keep the legs as they are if that's comfortable. If not, you can always stretch them out long in front of you. We'll turn the palms down to the floor and bring the arms a little closer down by the sides of the body. And kind of actively reach your fingertips away from you. So you're getting that lovely sense of leg through the neck. Just the right arm, we're going to move. So as you inhale, we'll float the right arm all the way up and back across the top of the head so the back of the hand might reach the floor behind you. And then as you exhale, again, actively reaching the arm back down alongside you, stretching fingertips to heels. So when you're ready to breathe in, we float the arm all the way up and back, trying to soften the rib cage. And then as you exhale, right arm, so the same arm stretches all the way back down. Gonna add on this next time. So inhale, arm reaches back. And as you exhale and lower the arm, turn your head to the left. You feel that nice stretch down the right side of the neck. Head comes to center as you reach the arm back, lengthening through that right side of the body. And then exhale, a little turn of the head to the left as you reach the arm all the way back down alongside you. Let's do that once more. So inhale, rolling the head back to center as you elongate the arm back above the head, and then exhaling, rolling of the head to the left as you bring the arm down. We'll keep that arm where it is now, bring the head back to center, and we'll try all of that on the left arm. So again, the active reach of fingertips towards the end of the mat. And then breath in, we'll reach the left arm back this time. You can take it into a wide V if that's more comfortable. Let's keep the head still for this first one as you exhale and bring the arm down. We'll do that just once more, just moving the arm and if that little neck roll doesn't work for you, then feel free to stay with this, inhaling to lift and lengthen. Reaching the fingertips back and exhale, stretching the fingertips down towards your heels. Let's add that little head roll now. So inhale, we'll lift the arm all the way up and back. So this time as you exhale and lower the arm, we're turning the head to the right. So you're moving away from that moving arm. So inhaling, head to center, arm lengthening back. Do that twice more. So head, a little roll across the back of the head so you're peeping over your right shoulder. We'll do that just once more. So again, being quite active with that stretch through the left arm, lengthening the arm back, and then reaching fingertips down towards the top of the mat, rolling the head. We'll keep the arms down. We'll bring the head slowly back to center, centering yourself up on your mat. Both arms lifting this time. Inhale reaching the arms all the way back above the head. Let's keep them there. You can widen them if you need to. As you stretch out one leg and then the other leg in front of you and have a little roll into the ankles, a circle of the wrists there, just easing into the joints this morning. First one way and then around in the opposite direction before you bring the arms all the way back down alongside you and walk your heels back in towards you before bringing the knees in towards your chest, one at a time. So you might need to rearrange your lower back there, relaxing your head on the floor, hands on the knees. Let's start to take the knees round in a little circle, any direction. 
The knees might be together or slightly apart, depending on how your hips feel this morning. A little loosening off for the lower body. Let's not neglect that. First one way and then changing direction, getting a little massage into the low back, into the sides of the buttocks. And then we'll bring the knees back in towards the chest. Now you can repeat that if your back's feeling a little tight today, or keep the knees hugged in as you bring the arms out level with the shoulders into that letter T shape. Reach the fingertips apart. And then again, we'll stop that little knee circle and just notice the further away you take your knees from the body, you can engage the core a little bit more strongly. You might feel your back arches a little bit as you take the knees away from you and then rounds a little bit as you bring the knees back in. So doing one more circle in whichever direction you're taking them in, and then just change and take them around the opposite way now. So again, you can always bring the hands onto the knees if this feels a little bit too much for your lower back this morning. Let's do one more nice circle before we bring the knees back up and in towards the chest. If you're holding your knees, let's all reach the arms out to the side, option to bring the feet to the floor. We'll take an inhale, and as you exhale, let's drop both knees over to the right side. So coming into a little twist, you can hug those knees up towards your chest or slide them a little further away from you, whatever feels nice this morning. Picking up the head and looking over your left arm. So we've got knees to the right, and then let's take both arms over to the left. So bring that right hand across the body to your left shoulder or maybe to your chest, so you can relax that elbow down. We're getting a little stretch into the neck and into the back of the shoulder. Try and drop that right shoulder away from your ear. Slide that left shoulder up from underneath you attached. So you've got a lovely sense of broadness across your chest. And then slowly, we'll bring the arms back out level with the shoulders, head to center. Use an inhale to bring those knees back up to center and exhaling straight over to the other side, so knees to the left. Getting nice and comfy, so this time we're sliding that right shoulder blade out from underneath you, scooping the knees up if you want a little bit more. Head turning to the right, and then arms coming to the right, so left hand comes across the body. You can rest on your right shoulder or the center of your chest. Just see if you can relax that elbow down towards your hips there. So it's a kind of passive stretch for the shoulder, a little stretch for the neck. If you can feel that left shoulder creeping up towards your ear, try and draw it down. Mine was there. Oh, let's bring the arms slowly back out. Knees coming back into centre. We'll bring one hand onto each knee. Lovely. Give those knees a little squeeze from the lower back around. And if you want to, lift head and shoulders coming into that little ball, sliding shoulders away from the ears. Lovely. As you inhale, lower the head, lower the shoulders. And as you exhale, give those knees a squeeze and maybe lift head and shoulders. You can always just leave the head and shoulders on the floor this morning. One more time, inhale, release head and shoulders all the way back down. And exhale, knees come in, nose to knee if you want, squeezing the knees in towards your chest. Lovely, let's keep the knees in towards the chest. Lower the head, lower the shoulders. Have another little roll across the back of the head before you widen your knees, cross one ankle over the other, have a little circle, and then decide how you want to make your way up and over to seated. So you can always just roll to one side, or like me, catch hold behind your knees and roll your way up with a bit of momentum, that's it. Now I'm gonna cross my right leg in front of my left leg this morning. You can always pop a cushion underneath your bottom or stretch the legs out in front of you. So sitting up nice and tall, we're just gonna reach the right arm out to the side. So level with the shoulder, thumb up towards the ceiling and just turn your gaze towards the right thumb. We'll bring that arm all the way in front to the opposite shoulder and take a look over your left shoulder, trying to keep your chin level with the floor. Let's reach the arm all the way back out to the side, looking to the right, and then all the way over the top. Now, you can soften that supporting elbow, maybe tuck your chin in or take your gaze down. Let's add the breath. So inhale and reaching out, looking over right hand. Exhale, looking to the left as you bring the arm across the body. Try and drop that right shoulder down. Inhale, reach the arm out, look over your fingertips and exhaling all the way over the top. Lovely. So inhale, reach and lengthen, turning the head. And then we scan the horizon as you bring the arm across to the opposite shoulder. 
Inhale, take the gaze back to the right and all the way over the top. Lovely. Let's do that just one more time. So trying not to lose that connection through your sit bones as we move just the upper body and into the neck there, reaching the arm out one last time and all the way up and over. I think if I tuck my chin in, I get a deeper stretch there. Let's take that right arm out to the right and then we'll bring it all the way across the body, catching hold either above or below the elbow. So you can bring that arm into a little stretch. Try and drop the shoulder down. Sit up nice and tall. The temptation is that we'll lean. So sitting up nice and tall as we feel that gentle stretch in the back of the shoulder. Lovely. Let's release the arm out to the side. This time, palm turns away from you. Now you might need to lean forwards a little bit so you can reach the arm behind you. And you can take hold of the wrist and gently draw the arm a little further round if that's comfortable. If not, just bring the hand onto the low back. So sitting up nice and tall, roll that shoulder back and then left ear will drop down to left shoulder. So we're trying to relax that right shoulder completely. You might need to adjust the position of your head ever so slightly turning your chin down or lifting up a little bit so you can feel that stretch in the side of the neck. Oh, I can feel that this morning. Lovely, let's bring the head all the way back up through centre. Let's release both arms up towards the ceiling. Big breath in and breathing out, fingertips come behind you. So you can press the fingertips down, fingertips forwards or out to the sides, whatever works for you. Loop the shoulders away from the ears, press into your fingertips, maybe lift your chin, lovely chest stretch, lovely. And then bend the elbows, lean into your hands, give the legs a little bounce, and then recross them the opposite way. So I've got left in front of right now. Sitting up nice and tall. So we'll do all of that with the left arm. So left arm reaches out, thumb up towards the ceiling, and we take a little look over the fingertips and then scan the horizon arm comes across to opposite shoulder and we look to the right so turning the gaze to the left and then up and over so drop some weight into that right elbow let it hug in towards the waist as we lean over the top lovely inhale to reach out to the side exhale we look over the right shoulder as we bring the hand across the body inhale taking the gaze to the left and exhale i'm going to tuck my chin in again and I feel that deepens the stretch, inhale. But you can always look down if it's a little bit tight on the neck, you can always keep your head still. You don't have to move your head, just a little bit extra for the neck, inhale. And exhale, up and over the top, keeping that sit bone grounded into the mat. One more time, inhale. So again, the temptation is to lift that left sit bone up as you take that side bend. So really being mindful of that, breathing in, so breathing out, staying grounded through your lower body, out to the side, one last time, and then we'll bring the arm across the body. So again, drop that left shoulder. You can cradle the arm above or below the elbow. I kind of like to go above it there. So we'll sit up nice and tall. You're not leaning to the right and drop that left shoulder down away from the ears. We're getting a little stretch in the back of the shoulder. So you can always support the hand there. It's a little deeper maybe there. And then we'll reach the arm out to the side. Palm turns away from you, take a little lean forward. So you can slot the arm behind you. You can rest it on your low back or catch the wrist with the opposite hand and snuggle it in towards the waistline. So we're rolling that left shoulder back and then right ear to right shoulder. And again, you might need to adjust the position of your chin. Sorry if you can hear me lose dulcet tones outside the door as I shut him out. <laughs> Let's come back to centre. It might not last very long. Inhale, sweep the arms up. We might have a visitation. Exhale, swim the hands behind you, fingertips to the floor. Again, we can press the floor away. Lift up nice and tall through the chest, lifting your chin if you wish, but try to avoid dropping the head back. Lovely. And then dropping the chin. I'm going to bring my hands in front of my shins and just roll to all fours. But if that doesn't work for you, then feel free to uncross everything. So let's take the hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Let's give ourselves lots of space this morning. So knees under hips, hands a little bit wider than shoulders as we come into our cat cow. So as you inhale, the belly dips, the tailbone lifts, the heart pulls forwards, chin lifts a little bit. And then exhale, rounding up and with the hands a bit wider apart, you maybe find you can come into that stretch a little bit more. So inhaling, heart pulls forwards, tailbone lifts. And exhale, we hug everything up to centre as you round up like that Halloween cat. Let's do a couple more like that. Inhaling, coming forwards, tailbone lifts. 
and exhaling to round. Lovely. Just once more, giving ourselves lots of space this morning by taking those hands slightly wider. Beautiful. And then we'll find that nice flat back position, walking the hands back onto the shoulders. And then we'll bring your right hand to the middle of the mat. Right hand almost underneath your chest there. And then we'll reach the, oh, before we do, let's take the knees a little bit wider apart and the big toes together. Let's give ourselves a nice stable base. And then we'll take the left arm all the way up, breath in, breathing out. We'll thread the needle so that hips might shift back a little bit as you feed that left arm through. So inhale, pull the chest forwards as you reach the arm up. And exhale, back of the hand hovers off the floor as you reach the arm underneath. Lovely. Let's do that just one more time. So bring the weight forwards as you lengthen up and then maybe drop the weight back. Lovely. This time we'll bring the chest forwards, arm reaches up. And then bring that left hand onto your lower back. So see if you can roll that shoulder open. You can take your gaze up or look down towards the floor, whatever works for your, for your neck there. Beautiful. Really press into that supporting hand. And then we'll sweep the left arm all the way up. And then we'll change sides. So left hand in the middle of the mat, straight underneath the chest. Right arm lifts this time. Open up through the chest. Keep the weight forwards. And then exhale. That's when we might drop the weight back to create that space. Weight comes forwards. Arm lifts, lovely chest stretch, beautiful. Exhale, feed the arm underneath, turning the head. Lovely, just one more of those. So we're gonna keep moving with the breath this morning. Inhaling, arm reaching up. Exhaling, release. Ready for that little chest opener. So we'll reach the arm up and then back of the hand or palm of the hand comes onto the lower back and we open up through the shoulder. Try and shift the weight forward so we're not dropping the weight back. Press into that supporting hand. Lovely. And then we'll reach the arm all the way up. Hands coming underneath the shoulders. Let's turn the knees forwards now, shins in line with knees. And we'll take the hips back towards the heels, lengthening the arms forwards, taking the sting out of the wrist as you come up onto the tips of your fingers and thumbs. And as you hug your hips back towards your heels, press your fingertips forwards and down. So we're getting that lovely stretch out through the side of the body there. I can feel that into my underarms and all the way through the sides of the ribs there. Oh, that feels like a nice stretch this morning. Beautiful. And then we'll bring the hands down to the floor, coming back onto all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, this time with the toes tucked under. So inhale, we'll come into our cow pose, arching the back. And as you exhale, let's come into our first downward dog of the day, lifting the hips up and back, taking a little pedal out in that first downward dog, maybe a Swing of the hips, the shape of the head. Let's keep it nice and loose. And just find an easy position for your head. So some of you might like to look between your thumbs, some to the middle of the mat. So I prefer that one. Some of you might look between your heels. And then let's bring the legs to stillness. And on your next inhale, let's lift the heels up nice and high. And as you exhale, push the hips back as you sink the heels down towards the floor. Back onto all fours as you inhale. That little cow pose, arching the back. Exhale, flatten the feet, hips slide to heels, coming down into a child pose. So inhaling, coming onto all fours, tucking the toes under. Exhaling, up into that downward facing dog, hips going up and back. Rising onto the balls of the feet as you inhale. And exhale, we'll stretch the hips all the way back and down as you lower the heels toward the floor. Back onto all fours, inhale. Exhale, flatten the feet, taking that child pose. Let's do that just one more time, then we'll add on. Inhaling forwards and up, toes tuck under. Exhale, lifting the hips all the way up and back. Downward dog, lifting up nice and high. Lift those heels, inhale, and then exhale. Send the hips back, stretch through the sides of the body as you drop the heels. Back onto all fours, last time, inhale. Exhale, flatten the feet. And take the hips towards the heels. Now let's reach the arms out in front of you for a little more moving flow. So coming back onto all fours, inhale. And this time as we exhale, we're gonna come all the way down to the floor. So elbows hug in, a little bit of strength for the upper body. Press into your hands, peel the chest up as you breathe in, and then all the way back and down into that child pose, lovely. 
Let's do that twice more if it feels good this morning. Coming forwards and up as you breathe in. And then continuing forwards and down as you breathe out. Hug those elbows in, lifting the chest, breath in. And breathing out back into child pose, lovely. We're gonna stay on our tummies this next time. So breath in to come up. And as you breathe out, lowering yourself down, slotting elbows underneath your shoulders as we come into Sphinx Pose. And if your back feels tight, take your elbows forwards and wider so your chest can drop a little bit. Stretch the toes back behind you. And again, quite actively, think about drawing your elbows back towards your hips there. Drop some weight into the front of the pelvis. Lovely, chin parallel to the floor. You're gonna bring your right heel in towards your right bottom and take a little peek over your right shoulder, trying to keep the chin level with the floor. And then point the toes, come all the way back through center as you lower the leg. Left heel coming in, little peep over left shoulder, so we work with a flexed foot. And then point the toes as you bring the foot back down to the floor, gaze to center. One more time, so heel coming in, turning to the right. And then extending away, stretching the toes away from you. Keep the chest lifted as we do that one more time on the left. Left heel comes in, Lovely, little peep over the shoulder and extend the leg. Now you can stay in that sphinx pose, pressing your elbows towards your ribs, or see if you can begin to peel your forearms off the floor without the shoulders lifting. Shoulders stay soft, elbows hugged in as you come into seal pose. Beautiful. We'll take one more inhale. And as you exhale, we'll widen the elbows to lower ourselves down, hands underneath the shoulders, pushing back onto all fours tucking the toes under, and we'll lift up and back into our downward facing dog. Up from our downward dog, pop a generous bend in your knees, take your gaze forwards, and then step or hop your right foot forwards to the top of the mat, lowering that back knee. We're gonna bring your right hand or your right elbow to that right thigh, whatever works for you this morning. And then we'll sweep the left arm forwards and up, and then turning the body as you reach all the way back and down. So let that left hip drop forwards as you sweep the arm forwards and up, breath in, lift the chest a little bit. As you exhale, you can look back as you reach back and down. So inhaling, you can always lead with the elbow if that shoulder feels a little tight today. Let's do one more nice big rotation. Beautiful. And this time we're gonna take the left arm all the way up and circle it round to just come to land on your back of your left thigh there. So this time we'll reach the right arm up and take a little lean back so the fingertips might slide down towards the back of the knee. And again, you can let your hips drop if you want to come into a deeper back bend there. Beautiful. Let's bring both hands down now to frame that front foot. Breathing in as you lift your chest. And as you breathe out, we're gonna move the hips back, getting a little hamstring stretch. You can keep your knee bent and your foot on the floor this morning, or slide that heel away from you and pull the toes towards your face. So you've got the option to stay there, hips in the middle of your mat, or a little balance challenge, bring your hands to your hips and see if you can lift your chest up. Ooh, beautiful, lovely, well done. And then we'll soften the knee, we'll bring the hands all the way back down to the floor. Both arms lifting this time, lovely crescent lunge. Inhale, press into that front foot. And as you exhale, we'll open the arms out to the side and then all the way back down to the floor. You're gonna tuck the back foot under, lift the knee, and then turn the toes towards the long edge of your mat, ready for your warrior two. Ooh, weren't expecting that so early on. So you've got the right foot pointing forwards and the left toes towards the back of the mat, beautiful. So let's turn that right palm up. And as you inhale, we're gonna reach that right arm all the way up and back. And as you exhale, right hand or elbow to thigh, and we'll reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. Lovely. So we're gonna circle the arm, but we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So we're gonna reach that arm to the back of your mat, and then forwards and up, breathing in. You can look up towards the ceiling. And then breathing out, looking down as you bring the hand toward the floor, lovely. Arm brushes in front of the face, big breath in. And big breath out to circle the arm down. Let's do that one more time, so inhale. Again, you can soften the elbow if it's a little bit too much. This time as you inhale, let's come all the way back up into our warrior two. 
And as you exhale, we'll reverse our warrior, right arm arcs all the way up and back. Beautiful, back into your warrior two, breathing in. Breathing out, we're gonna take a cartwheel of the hands down. Pivoting on that back foot, so all 10 toes are facing forwards. And we're gonna hop that left foot in and slightly out to the side with the toes out about 45 degrees. So separate your feet hip width and start to draw the hips back, straightening off through that front leg, coming into a pyramid pose. So you might keep a deep bend in that front knee. Imagine you want to draw your right inner thigh towards your left inner thigh. Now firm up through the belly as you bring both hands either to your front shin or to your thigh, coming into a lovely flat back. Lengthening out through the crown of the head, draw that right hip back and then hands to hips. Push into your feet as you rise all the way up to stand. So we've got hips and heart towards the top of the mat. Both legs straight, arms lift, inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to swim the hands behind you and either catching hold of opposite wrists or elbows. So roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, we'll take a breath in. As you breathe out, we're coming back down into that forward fold, back into our flat back. Draw that right hip back, elongate out through the crown of the head. Oh, I can feel that in my hamstring. And then we'll soften the knee, bring the hands down to frame that front foot. Slide that left leg back so the hips drop. And we'll take that right leg up and back into a three-legged dog. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, foot to floor. Option to have a little rest or roll forwards to plank as you inhale. And as you exhale, knees down, chest down, all the way down to the floor. Beautiful. Little cobra as you inhale, lifting your chest. And as you exhale, we'll tuck the toes, lift the hips, down with dog. I'm just going to turn around onto the other side of my mat so I can mirror you there. So again, in that downward dog, find that nice, easy position for your gaze. And then we'll bend both knees generously, take your gaze forwards. And this time, step or spring, left foot forwards. Woo! And drop the back knee. Lovely. So you can flatten your foot, you can keep your toes tucked, whichever works for you. And left hand or left elbow. So if it feels more comfortable to keep your chest lifted, just keep the hand there. So this time, right arm, we're going to sweep forwards and up. And then we look back as you reach back. So the whole torso moves. Drop the hips. Inhale, reach up. So chest lifts a little bit. And then we reach all the way back and down. Lovely. So that's a lovely shoulder stretch. We get a cheeky hip stretch as well. Two for the price of one. Beautiful. One more. Inhale. Ready for that little reverse warrior this next time. So we'll reach the arm all the way up. Lift up a little bit. And then we bring that right hand all the way back onto your buttock or the top of the thigh. So left arm lifts up and then we reach the body back and maybe again the fingertips slide down towards the back of the knee and you arc the body back a little bit. Before we windmill both hands down, frame that front foot up onto fingertips as you breathe in and then breathing out, slot the hips back into that little hamstring stretch. So again, you might keep your knee bent or a little bit more active, pull the toes towards your face. Oh, I can feel that this morning. Now you might want to stay there. If you want that little balance challenge, we bring one hand and then the other to the hips and then lift ourselves up. This side feels distinctly wibbly wobbly. Ooh. And then we'll lower ourselves down, bending that front knee so foot comes to floor. Both arms lift, inhale, lovely. Crescent lunge, turn the palms up as you draw the arms all the way out to the side and then back down to frame the front foot, picking up that right knee, spinning the heel in, the toes out. So just walk that front foot to the middle of your mat as you find your warrior two. So we've set ourselves up for greatness. Left foot pointing forwards, arms out left to right, lovely. So let's turn the left palm up. Breathing in, we take that reverse warrior, arcing the body back and exhale. Left hand or forearm to thigh. Again, you can keep your hand there. We'll drop down onto your elbow and we'll reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. Lovely. And then we'll reach the arm back before we take it forwards in front of the face. So inhale, we reach forwards and up. And you might look back as you take the arm back and down. So we're circling the arm in the opposite direction now. Inhaling up. Exhaling back and down. Lovely. Let's do that again. So we're pressing into that front foot. We're not collapsing into the elbow. Let's do that one more time. Big circle. Beautiful. 
Let's let that arm carry us all the way into our warrior two as we inhale and exhale. We'll reverse our warrior one last time, body arcs all the way back, beautiful. Taking that little hat part, we let the hands down, framing the front foot, pivoting on that back foot so we can hop your right foot in and slightly out. So I've got my toes of that back foot turned out slightly. I find it's a little bit easier for my hip. And then imagine you want to squeeze your left inner thigh towards your right inner thigh. So you might have that front knee deeply bent. You might bring your hands higher up the leg. You might be able to straighten the legs. And then we'll bring both hands either to that front shin or your thigh coming into a flat back. So draw that left hip back, elongate the body forwards, and then hands to hips, press into your feet as you rise all the way up to stand. So I've got two straight legs. Both arms lift, inhale. Exhale, big circle around behind you, catching hold of your wrists or your elbows. Now just pause there for a minute and swap the arms around so the other arm is on top because invariably we go the same way. I know I do. Inhale, lift your chest. And as you exhale, we're coming back down into that flat back, but trying to keep the shoulders rolled back. Lovely. Bend the front knee, bring the fingertips to the floor. We're going to slide that right leg back a little way, drop the hips. And then as you inhale, left leg comes up and back into a three-legged dog. And exhale, both feet to floor, downward dog. Have a rest or last little vinyasa, inhale to plank. Maybe your knees stay lifted this time as you come down onto your tummy. Flatten the feet, come into that little baby cobra. And this time as you exhale, let's come up into our downward facing dog. And from our downward dog, take a slow walk forwards to the top of your mat. So feet coming behind your wrists will generously bend the knees. And once again, you can cradle opposite elbows and have that little sway if that feels nice. It's going to adjust the screen so you'll be able to see me. If you don't like that sensation of being in a forward fold, then by all means, lift your chest and rest your hands on your thighs. Let's let go of the elbows and once more, we'll interlace the hands and just bring your hands behind your head, just as we did at the beginning. You can free up your thumbs down your neck. We'll draw the elbows gently towards each other. Keep a, th a deep knee bend as you roll your way up. Hands behind head, slowly coming all the way up. And then we'll widen the elbows, lift your chest and maybe allow your head to drop back into your hands. Lovely. Let's slowly, slowly release and bring the arms all the way down by the sides of the body. Beautiful. So feet underneath hips. Now reach the right arm up towards the ceiling and really get that feeling of length up through the side of the body. And then take your gaze to the left top corner of your mat or over to the left. I'm going to soften the knees and reach that right arm over the, to the top left hand corner, so over on the diagonal. And then palm comes up as you sweep the arm up, breath in. So soften the knees, we reach across the body, so it's a lovely lateral stretch. And then all the way back up, beautiful. Let's do that twice more. So you get a nice stretch out through all of those deep muscles that run along the side of the spine, down into our lower back, into our upper back, one more time. And this time we'll breathe in, right arm up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, we'll come straight over the top into our half moon stretch. Sorry, you're losing my arm. You know what I'm doing, don't you? Inhale to center. And as you exhale, we'll bring that right hand down, left arm lifting this time. So let's pause there first of all, press into your left foot, lengthen up through the fingertips, and then we'll soften the knee, Look to the right, and that's where we're going with the arm across the body on the diagonal. And then inhaling all the way up, lovely. So we're taking the arm across the body, so you can bend your knees really generously there, taking the heat out of the hamstrings as we focus on that lovely lateral stretch across the back. One more time, big breath in. And then breathing out all the way across the body, breath in to reach up, and this time straight over the top. The opposite hand slides down the side of the leg. Lovely breath in to reach up. And exhale, we'll bring the hands down. Lovely. So we'll bring the hands to the hips now. Now, this next one, feel free to keep your feet as they are, hip width apart. But if you can, you know, slide your right foot and tuck it behind your left foot. So I've got space between my little toes. If that doesn't work for you, then just bring your feet to hip width apart. 
So we'll keep the left hand where it is on the hip. We're going to bend that front knee and take the right arm up. And then pushing the hips gently over to the right, soften that front knee as you come into that lovely stretch. You can always keep your feet hip width apart if that's a little bit too much. Lovely, coming back through center. Let's straighten off the legs as you take the arms out left to right. Now drop your thumbs back, tilt the little fingers up and see if you can lift up nice and tall through the chest. And then we'll reverse the arms. So this time, the left arm reaches up. Right arm reaches down as we take a little side bend. Nice, coming all the way back out to the side. And we're gonna keep the arms out left to right, thumbs dropping back, heart lifted, little fingers upturned. And we'll slide that right foot out to the right, coming onto the ball of the foot and opening the knee out to the side. Option to stay there, or a little strength test, see if you can catch your right knee in your right hand. Beautiful balance. And then from there, we're coming into tree pose. So you can bring the sole of the foot above the knee or below the knee, or it may be even foot to floor as you bring your hands to the heart. So wherever feels comfortable and balanced this morning, you can always use a little bit of furniture for support. Lift up nice and tall. Lovely, you can stay there and work on balance or take the arms forwards, palms together. And then thumbs pull back as you open the arms out to the side, left to right. Reaching the arms above the head, fingertips touch. And then bringing the hands all the way back down to the heart. Do that one more time with the breath. So inhale, arms arrow forwards. Exhale, open the arms out so the palms are up towards the ceiling. Breath in to reach up and lengthen. And as you exhale, hands come finally back to the heart. Let's point that right knee forwards and bring the foot to the floor. Woo! Give the legs a little shake, shake. And we'll try that on the other side. So you can keep the feet hip width apart. So you bring your hands to your hips or this time we're going to slide or step your left foot behind your right foot. So you can see I've got a little space between my little toes and a softness in my knees there. So right hand this time stays on the hip. Left arm lifts up. So I soften the knees, so especially that front knee, so I can just push my hips gently over to the left in that nice half moon stretch. Gorgeous, we'll come back through center. Arms out to the side now. So thumbs drop back, little fingers lift up. Maybe you lift your chest, maybe your chin. Beautiful, then we'll keep the arms out where they are as you slide, oh no, we've got to reverse the arms, haven't we? I'm forgetting that. This time we'll take the right arm up, left arm down. I nearly deprived you of a side stretch. So right arm up, left arm down. Oh, lovely. Coming back out to the side. How could I forget that one? It's so nice. Palms up towards the ceiling. Now we'll see if we can slide or step the left foot out to the side, coming onto the ball of the foot, just opening the knee. So the knee is open there. You can't really see with my little thing behind me. Beautiful. Option to stay there or see if you can lift the knee and catch hold of it with your left hand. And then bring that foot into your tree pose with your hands together at the heart. So remember, you can always lower the foot. You can use a piece of furniture if this side is wibbly wobbly. Lift up nice and tall. You can stay still, work on balance. One side always feels worse than the other. Arms arrowing forwards, palms together and then open the arms out to the side. So if you're really wibbly wobbly, use the floor. Reach the arms up, up, up. Oh, wibble wobble. Hands coming down to the heart. Lovely, let's do that one more time. So find your focus. Just use the floor if you need to, inhale. Exhale, thumbs pull back. Let's reach up one last time, breath in. Breath out, hands coming back to heart. We'll point the knee forwards, bring the foot to the floor. One side always feels different to the other. Have that little shake, shake through the legs. And then we'll settle the feet hip width apart there. Let's bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way out and up. Big breath in. And as you breathe out, we'll come forwards and down, hinging from the hips into that forward fold. Finding your flat back as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, I'm going to bring the hands down and step back into your downward facing dog. From our downward dog, dropping down onto all fours, widening your knees once more. Big toes point together. And just to relax the shoulders, let's take the elbows out nice and wide so we can rest one hand on top of the other and bring your forehead to rest on the back of your hands. 
but just allow your chest to sink down a little bit, your elbows nice and wide apart. Heaviness in your hips, don't worry if your bottom isn't quite touching your heels there. Just allowing the shoulders once more to release and relax. We've warmed up through the shoulders. We've done a little bit for our hips and our tree pose. So let's finish off by coming back onto all fours and lots of options in this one. So let's all start just by pressing into your hands and sliding your right foot back behind you and having a roll over the toes there. So keeping the legs straight, firming up through the lower belly, pressing into your hands as you take that little stretch into the back of the leg. And then coming to stillness, we'll lift the leg, level with the hip, lovely. Breath in, breathing out, knee to chest, nose to knee as you press into your hands. And then inhaling, leg goes forwards, chest, uh, leg goes back, chest comes forwards, and exhale. You'd be hard pushed to take the leg forwards, wouldn't you? So once more, inhale, you can try. <laughs> and exhale. So this time we're gonna take the leg all the way back behind you, pausing there now, shift the weight into your right hand and take your left arm forward, so opposite arm to hand, right leg, left arm. Option to stay there or bend the knee, see if you can reach round and take hold around the top of your foot or hook your fingers in your trousers and then square your shoulders up to the top of the mat as you push your foot into your hand, your hand against your foot. So it's a big shoulder and hip stretch. Lovely, slowly, slowly release. Bring the hands down, maybe get the wrist a little shake there. And then we'll change sides. So firm into your hands, try and keep your gaze forward. So you sometimes drop the head there. So gaze stays forward as you slide your left leg back this time. So the leg is straight as you take that little roll over the toes. Being mindful of any old Achilles or ankle injuries there. Lovely. And then coming to stillness, we'll lift the leg, level with the hip. Try not to dip in your belly. We'll take an inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, nose to knee. We inhale to extend. Leg goes back, chest forwards. Exhale, squeeze everything into center. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. So this next time we'll take the leg back, pause, option to stay there. We'll shift the weight into your left hand so you can reach the right arm forward, thumb up towards the ceiling, upper arm level with the ear. Option to stay there, you can bring the hand down. We're trying that stretch, bending the knee, reaching back with your right hand to see if you can take hold of the foot. And then squaring up the shoulders to the front of the mat as you push your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot. It's a deep stretch, so take it easy. Lovely, let's slowly, slowly release. Bringing the hands back down, bringing the knees back down, and let's just draw the knees and the ankles together. We'll pick up the shins, flick your feet to one side, and then just drop your bottom down so you can swish both legs out in front of you. Lovely, give the knees a little shake, shake. And then we'll reach the arms up, breathing in and breathing out, coming forwards and down. Oh no, if hamstrings or low back feels really tight today, remember you can generously bend your knees and wrap your arms around the back of your thighs there. Just let your forehead drop down towards your knees. If you're feeling a little bit more open, you might have your hands on your shins, your thighs, or maybe even wrapping your hands around your feet there. Knees and your body down. Just try not to force the body into any unnatural position. There should be no sense of pulling or tugging at the back of the knees or in, in your buttocks there. And then we'll walk the hands back up the legs and slide your right heel in towards you and allow that knee to drop open out to the side. You can always pop something onto your knee, bring that foot a little bit lower down the leg or indeed keep both legs in front of you if that's preferable. Let's take a big breath in as you reach up and breathing out we're coming over that left leg this time so keeping the chest square over the leg ease your way down 
Try to relax that right knee out to the side there if you can. That's it. And then we'll walk the hands back up the legs, keeping the legs as they are. We'll sweep the arms up, big breath in. And as you breathe out, we're gonna take a twist to the right. So left arm comes across the body as we turn towards the bend knee. Inhale through center. Exhale, we take that twist round to the left. So we're again, moving from the waist up. One more time each way, inhale, reach up. Exhale, take that twist to the right. Inhale through center. Last time, twisting to the left. Let's sweep both arms up. And this time, hands come behind you, fingertips pointing forwards or slightly out to the side so you can lean into your hands. And we're going to point the right knee up towards the ceiling and bring the foot alongside your left shin or your knee there. So press into your hands, point the toes of that left foot, lift your chest. Option to stay there or push into your hands and lift your hips up. So you're stretching the left toes towards the floor, pressing into that right foot. Try not to drop the head back and then chin tucks in, lower the hips. We'll stretch both legs out in front of you, breathing in and breathing out. Let's come down over the legs again. Both legs extended, generous with that knee bend if you need to. Easing the body down. Lovely. And then walking your way back up, this time sliding left heel in so we can allow that knee to drop open. So again, propping your pillow or cushion underneath that left knee if you need to or keeping both legs extended. Let's inhale, reach up and exhale, coming over the right leg this time. So we're just coming over that extended leg, trying not to twist the body from side to side there. Easing our way down. Lovely, walking the hands back up the legs, ready for that little twist. So breathing in, we reach up. And we're twisting to the left, first of all. So we're turning towards that bent knee. It doesn't matter if you go the opposite way because we're gonna do a balanced number on each side. Inhale and exhale, twisting in the opposite direction. One more each way. So again, it doesn't matter if you've kind of gone the wrong way because we're going to even ourselves up. One more. Lovely, reaching both arms up this time. Breathing out, hands swim behind you again, adjusting your fingertips out to the side if you need to. And we'll point the left foot up, to, uh, left knee up towards the ceiling, foot alongside your knee or your shin. So we'll point the right toes, lift your chest. You can stay there or again, push into that foot, lift your hips, keep your chin tucked in and point the right toes toward the floor. Lovely, and then chin tucking in, lowering yourself down. And this time we'll bend both knees so you can ease your way down onto your back, bringing the knees with you, giving them a little hug and having a little rock from side to side. If you want to roll across the back of your head, either moving in the same direction of your knees or maybe turning the head in the opposite direction to your knees. Have a little roll there. Lovely. And then we'll bring the feet down to the floor, this time wide apart, heels in, toes slightly turned out. We'll bring the arms out to the side. Again, level with the shoulders like the top of a letter T. Let's drop both knees over to the right side, little pivot on your heels as you take your gaze over to the left. Trying to relax the buttocks, letting the knees drop down, coming into a lovely, easy twist to finish. And then inhaling, coming back through the center and exhaling over to the other side. So this first one, just pause there for a moment. Allowing again the buttocks to relax, the legs to release. And then we'll start to tick tock with the breath. So inhale to center, exhaling over to the right. So as you move with the breath, coming back to center, as you inhale, you can even widen your knees as you come through the center. So you're getting a little inner thigh stretch. Knees wide, rolling over the backs of the heels. Now, 
You can keep the arms out level with the shoulders, or if you want one last little stretch for the shoulders, bring the arms above the head, one hand resting on the other. And then you start to press your hips forwards in the same direction as your knees are traveling. So you get a little kind of arching of the back there, if that feels nice. You can turn your head away from your knees. Oh, that feels nice. So you can press the hips gently forwards if that feels good as we do one more in each direction. So feel that you've done an equal number on each side. And doing one more over to the left. And when you've done that last one, we'll come all the way back through centre. We'll walk the feet a little closer together. We'll extend one leg and then the other. And if you've not already got the arms above the head, so let's stretch the arms back above the head and have that moment in a delicious full body stretch. Maybe stretching into one side of the body and then the other. Having a little shift across the hips there. And then slowly lowering the arms back down alongside you. Again, resting on the back of your hands. So your palms are up towards the ceiling, a little bit of space between your little fingers and the sides of the body, having a little roll across the heels before you let your toes roll open and your heels are in. If that doesn't feel nice to have the legs fully extended, go ahead and re-bend your knees. Let's take a moment now once more just to find that sense of heaviness and release. So checking back in with your upper body, starting with your face, smoothing the brow, relaxing the eyes in their sockets. So just making sure your eyes aren't scrunched up tightly. Relaxing into your cheeks and into your jaw. So again, maybe separating your back teeth. And just resting the tip of your tongue against the back of your two top teeth. Relaxing into your chin and your lips. Imagine again that lovely, heavy, warm, comforting velvet cloak settling around your shoulders, gently drawing them down and away from your ears. Upper back broadening with every exhale. Allowing the chest to widen. Both the chest and the belly rising and falling in synchronicity with each breath. Letting that sense of release travel down to the front of the legs, the back of the thighs, shins and the calves, and finally down into the feet, the ankles and the toes. And just take a few nice deep breaths there. As we prepare to venture forth into the rest of our day, the trick is, can we keep those shoulders away from our ears, at least for the next five minutes? So when you're ready, have a little roll across the back of your head, releasing any last tension from around the shoulders and the neck. Give the fingers and the toes a little wiggle. And then maybe reach both arms back above your head stretching out long through the legs, waking the body up in that lovely full body stretch. And then lowering the arms, walking the heels back in towards you. Maybe again, giving the knees one last squeeze. You can always lift nose towards knees, coming into that little ball or just have a little movement rocking. 
and then rolling onto your right side or your left side, whatever feels most intuitive or where there's loose furniture <laughs> and come up to seated. It's lovely. And let's just end by bringing the hands to the heart, dropping your shoulders away from the ears. So let the elbows relax. Lift your breastbone to meet your thumbs. And as you drop your chin gently down towards your chest, I'll just finish with this little story. I was in Waitrose on Sunday. And as I was leaving, the lady at the reception desk handed me a beautiful bunch of white roses. And she said, we'd like to give you these because we can't sell them. They have no date on them. So we just like to give them to a customer to enjoy. And it made my day, it was lovely, and it reminded me of a beautiful Japanese proverb about winter. The proverb goes like this, one kind word can warm three winter months. Isn't that lovely? So thank you, Waitrose, you warmed my day. Let's take a nice deep breath in, sweeping the arms out and up. And as you exhale and bring your hands to your heart, chin to chest. And now we stay, thank you. Let's hope this mild weather lasts a little while longer, if only for our heating bills. <laughs>